compute the indefinite integral of x cot x cosecant x dx. So the first thing we got to do here is prep this a little bit. This is the cotangent of x and the cosecant of x. Now notice that it's a product of very simple functions, which would suggest that a u dv integration by parts approach would yield some utility. Notice that x is just an algebraic part, and the rest is trigonometric. So we would want to set the algebraic part to u and the trigonometric part to dv. So let's see, we're going to have u is equal to x, and we'll have dv is equal to cotangent of x times cosecant of x times the differential dx. Alrighty, now let's differentiate. The derivative of u is going to be 1, or if we multiply through by a dx, we get du is 1 dx. And next, let's integrate the differential on both sides. So the, we're going to have v is equal to, the antiderivative here is negative cosecant of x. So now we have all of the terms. Going back to our original integral, we see that our integral takes the form of the integral of a u times a differential dv. According to integration by parts, this is equal to u times the function v minus the integral of that same function v times the differential of u. So let's plug in what we've substituted. So for u, we'll replace with x. dv will replace with the negative cosecant of x. And then we're going to subtract the integral of, well, that negative cosecant of x again, times the differential du, which is just 1 dx. So let's clean up what we've got here. We've got negative x times the cosecant of x. And then we are adding, negative negative, the integral of cosecant of x dx. Now this last guy is on our list of 20. So let's see, we're going to have minus x times the cosecant of x. And this integrates to negative the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the cosecant of x plus the cotangent of x. There's one antiderivative, add a c, and we have all our antiderivatives. It's also worth noting that both of these terms in front are negative, so you could factor out a negative one and have this x times the cosecant of x plus the natural logarithm of the absolute value of the cosecant of x plus the cotangent of x. And this whole expression added to a c. Either one of those is legit.